Yeah, so this started probably about six months ago or so. Um, Garrett and I, we got into this new tactic of trying to get permissions because, um, you know, for so long we would drive out to a spot in, even if it was several hours away and then ask the landowner for permission. And it's not super efficient because you're spending a lot of time <laughs> to go out there not actually knowing what they're going to say. And somehow we just got the idea like, hey, why don't we just like mail letters to people? Because number one, that can travel a lot farther distance than I can, you know, and number two, like it's less pressure on the landowner because they can just read the letter. I'm not like right there in their face. And so, yeah, like at the end of last year, we just started to get the idea like, hey, we've done so well on these trail spots in Kansas. Why not just try mailing some letters out to some places even further west? Because if I knew ahead of time I had that permission, I'm willing to drive, you know, a thousand plus miles somewhere if it, you know, I know there's, you know, I can get right on it. And so, yeah, like back in January of this year, I mailed out a letter to this place on the Oregon Trail uh, way out west. And um, we're obviously not going to get too detailed on where that was, but um, mailed this letter out. Uh, didn't expect too much. I mean, this is my first time mailing something like that far out trying to get permission. And within a week, I got a response. And the <laughs> landowner, he just he texted me. He said, hey, this is my name. Um, you know, this is where I'm at. Uh, and you're more than welcome to come out and search. And like, he knew like all the history of the area and everything and was super wow. fun. And, uh, I was blown away and what are the odds? Seriously. Yeah. Right? yeah and so My from gosh. that point on, it began this several month kind of research project where we were just searching, researching that area of the trail and seeing what might be a good area to search over there, um, based on what, you know, we knew about it. And uh, the more the months went by, the more it started to come together. And then I was just telling Garrett, like, hey, we need to actually, like, do this because, like, this could be the trip of a lifetime. Wow. <laughs> and so finally, finally put it together. Uh, yeah, a month or two ago, finalized it and, you know, got Tony involved. And we just we drove out there and the rest is history, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll talk about the history that was made for sure. I know that um, uh, Tony, uh, you just put that in the chat. Anybody else send out letters, you know, yeah. um, real early on when you and I first started detecting, I did a huge yep. letter writing campaign because yes. I believe in the same thing. As a matter of fact, Zach, you and I should need, need to compare notes on what our letters <laughs> said and see, <laughs> see how close they were because it's I'd successful. send them out and I thought, you know, I can reach more people that way, uh, you know, remote landowners or remote property owners, uh, places we want to target and just go fishing. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, I got what? How many? Like five or six responses yeah. giving me permission. I would mail a like permission letter that they could sign or check the I give you permission. I'd give the whole you know uh, what I will and won't do and all the ethics and everything. And um, I'd even put in a self addressed stamp envelope so they wouldn't have to do yeah. uh, do very much. And yeah, I got I got some hits on that, and it was cool. Give them give them every reason to say yes. Right. You yeah. know. Yeah. I, it, I think uh, that's 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 my two cents on it. Right, and one was even like a local celebrity that yeah, I approached. It, yeah, it like, certainly was. Yeah, he was a huge kind of local celebrity, and he owned three hundred acres that he was trying to sell. There was a for sale sign up on it, and I found out through the through the grapevine that he was the owner of it. Him and a partner, and I wrote him just thinking there was no chance. You know, I found out his address and everything, and yeah, he signed the permission letter and sent it back to me. And we've been hunting that property for about four years now, yeah, and uh, and found some cool things along it. So, yeah, wow. it, it happens. I know, you know, you want to be in person as much as you can. That's absolutely the best way to get permission. But like you're saying, if you've got, if you guys are hunting a trail, <laughs> which is pushing from Kansas, you know, west or from, you know, however long. There's lots of targets along that trail and lots permissions you might want to get. So hats off to you. That that's a great idea and a great tip for people out there that maybe are doing some of the same stuff. You know, write yeah, those it was, letters. It was a game take changer. a shot. It, it was what a game changer. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, being on the other side of it now and, and kind of hearing some of the stories that we're going to talk about, uh, it was definitely a grand slam permission for sure. I mean. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So, 